Hello traders, welcome to LH Blue. This is Dipen Gogoi, and uh, today we'll discuss about the crude oil pivot point market trend and market range. And today we'll discuss uh, how to trade in crude oil and what's going to happen. We will discuss about uh, crude oil. So once you read this, and this is crude oil um, daily chart. So today you can see crude oil pivot point is. 3763 and the first uh, resistance 3940 and the second resistance 4039 and the third resistance 4216 and the first support 3664 and the third support a uh, second support 3487 and the third support 3388 and this is a crude oil chart so here we can see it's a daily chart so let me show you one thing here i am uh, deleting the hey can candle and just i am using here normal candle right okay this is the normal candle so uh, last few days prices uh, uh last few days continuously and the crude price was falling down right so now what happened so by using weekly chart i given a resistance a supporting line so you can see so i think in previous video you know how to uh, how i place this supporting uh, line here around three four five two so i told that from this level market will give a little more correction now in the daily chart today i'll tell you a little more uh, candles uh, about the candlestick pattern so here you can see this one candlestick pattern so in this two candle so if you have knowledge about the candlestick pattern like that is called white crow candlestick pattern you can see one thing here below near this supporting line or above this supporting line they are forming a white crow candlestick pattern this two candle that means white crow so let me explain the what what is called white crow suppose price is falling down right price is falling down if at the last time they are forming a bearish candle okay this is bearish candle okay this is bearish candle so next day if price is just open in this bearish candle here is a open and here you can see close so in this candle here is open and this one is close have you seen so next day what happened next day the price is open just above the previous day close okay if the open previous day gap up okay you can see this one close and here next day open and price third and uh, that day price close above the previous day open so you can see this one previous day open here and next day up it is close previous day it is close and this one open have you seen have you got it so the price is open where previous day close above right here and close next day close above the previous open if the price form like that candle form like that this is called white crow right here they crow, uh, close black crow and here they are forming a white crow if price from this candle it is high probability to go up from this area so here you can see price is forming just above the uh, here is uh, price is forming right um, black crow this is one confirmation price will go up upcoming days and uh, we are getting second confirmation here this candle pattern are forming just above the resistance supporting line you got it that means this 
candlestick forming where above the supporting level this is the two confirmation the price will go up upcoming days okay and the second confirmation the cci is pointing toward zero level third confirmation fourth com it's a third and this is fourth confirmation store stick also giving by signal okay so that is why it is confirming that this down downtrend has finished in this area and they are trying to start uptrend okay according to uh, uh, sorry in this daily chart so now we'll see in a four hour chart now one thing i uh, i think uh, like uh, some people have confused here so have you seen this price is coming down right now but at what level it will come so it is daily but if we see in a small time frame like um five minute or hourly this price uh, retracement we can find out so i am applying in a daily as a fibonacci here this range and we'll get 50 percent and 61 percent retracement of this market okay we draw a trend line uh, just i'm removing this fibonacci so you can see here price may come up to this level 37 zero six in this level price may come because that means price will they are forming the white crow it will go up suddenly not like that the price should be retraced right so what is the retracement last point so i using the fibonacci i flash uh, um, horizontal line here around uh, 3706 the price may come up to this level okay today so if i draw using by the fibonacci so let's see where is the supporting or resistance line is it there so you can see first time we got this one resistance line here next supporting line two confirmation strong support so let me small little more let me see the previous data so here you can see this one previous data you can see near okay so it is probably to come this level only okay this is for daily now we'll see in a um, four hour chart so it's a four hour you can see here price is totally right now what called this on sideway market or you can say price is soppy so where i put that horizontal line here where i put this horizontal line and another you can see this one moving average 20 and this one uh, 50 moving average is making a strong support price is falling down but here is a strong support where i draw a line around 3706 so from this area it is high probability to bounce the market okay so and another confirmation you can see lower low higher high lower high uh, sorry higher high and it is the same level still they are not uh, breaking so they will give a retracement i hope it will go up so it is for four hour chart and if you see in a small time range like uh, under 15 minutes so let me because i mostly use the 15 minute for trading and the 15 minute let me draw something here so here you can see this one the uh, range right this is a uh, range market range and this is the false breakout okay this is the false breakout and this is the original market range and where we draw you can see we draw a line by using the fibonacci in a daily chart that is the 3706 in this level but you can see now we come came to um, 15 minute time frame and here you can see big resistance 
uh, there uh -huh. it is the support and that is why you can see here will be a strong support so from this area it is go up it is a high probability to go up because people also think uh, that uh, they previously they broke this level and this is the pack back out and after breaking this level they run in a range this is the rare range right so but they, they never they you can see they didn't stay for the long time and prices gone up right this is uh, false breakout and I hope the price will come up to this level and it will go up so if you are getting here any buy opportunity so you can buy here so another thing here uh, for the buy confirmation we are getting here let me let, uh, let me do a little more bigger zoom in and um, how you will find the price is placing uptrend or not so here you can see this one uh, okay this one yellow little more yellow i don't know what is called this exactly what is the color little more look like yellow where yellow moving average that means 50 moving average cross 150 moving average this one red red have you seen this red is 150 moving average and the yellow is a 50 moving average and they cross here in this candle so that is confirming in 15 minutes the trend is uptrend like when what I'm going to tell like this one 150 moving average and this one 50 moving average right and this one 50 moving average okay they cross each other we recognize as a trend is up but one thing remember 150 and 50 both are pointing toward uptrend that is at that time we are going to say it is a uptrend if 50 moving 150 moving average pointing toward downside at that time 50 moving average is crossing here so it is not recognized as a downtrend but here you can see both are pointing toward upside so and across here so it is confirming that it will go up with a high probability to go up if you place suppose if you bought here around uh, 3706 and just keep it your SL just below this moving average of 100 and put your target the previous high and your profit ratio will be 1 is to so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.